This is Rob Phelan, an elementary school teacher who we helped produce his first audiobook. My name is Stash the Squirrel. I love saving my acorns and talking about money. Rob, initial thoughts. He's got a great narrator voice, and that Stash voice made me crack up. And published that audiobook. Actual cover, met the requirements versus the uh, audiobook added on. And I created that in Canva, so I might not have created the, si the file size to be big enough. Um, I might have been just like an Instagram thumbnail or something like that. So it might have mm. actually shrunk it down for that purpose. Okay. Since Rob chose to publish his audiobook wide, he won't get the Audible promotional codes reserved for ACX exclusive audiobooks. That's okay, because Find A Way Voices offers 30 promotional codes to non-exclusive audiobooks published through their platform. The nice part is, the promo codes work in more regions than the promotional codes for ACX. For Audible, the promotional codes only work in the US and UK, leaving the rest of your readership high and dry without some freebie goodness. That's okay because Authors Direct, the platform Find Away Voices use for the promotional code redemption system, reaches the US, Canada, and Australia with potentially more markets coming later on. The audiobook promo code's sole purpose is to get more reviews and promote the arrival of your new publication. The sooner you can get rid of those codes, the better. But what's the fastest way? It varies. We tried a few services for Rob's book, but before we get to that, stick around because we'll have additional tips for marketing and promoting your audiobook. At this point, Rob, you've got the book published. How are you feeling about it? Uh, amazing. Like it was, um, there was a little hiccup. So we, we got the book, looked great. You know, we proofread it. We did all that stuff. Um, and about two weeks after we got it, um, I dropped off at the local library. I was like, Hey, I'm interested in donating some books as part of the Kickstarter campaign. And they came back to me like, that's great. It looks awesome. It's a wonderful resource, but we can't take a book with a spelling error. And I was like, what? And yeah. So despite the huge amount of proofreading that went into this. We missed a word where there was a P-A-X instead of P-A-Y. I'll tell you what, cooler heads prevail me. I probably would have just raged and just throw everything in the dumpster. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure Rob was two seconds from doing that when he texted me. <laughs> yeah, and we can go over that when we do our, our stuff next week. But yeah, I was just like, he sent me the screenshot and I was like, I don't see the typo. Like, I, I cannot see it. Since you went non-exclusive with ACX and you chose to use Find Away Voices as well, ACX has turned their back on you. They're not to give you codes, but it's whatever because you have 30 codes over in your Find Away Voices account. With those codes, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to hand them out to people and they're going to click on them and they can redeem them. Now, it doesn't go to the Audible store. Sometimes that's a deal breaker for some readers, but most people, when they see Authors Direct, they will know automatically, oh, okay, that's something probably through Find Away Voices. They know that that's where they're going to go to. So let's start it out with audiofreebies.com. This is probably one of my preferred ones and I've had actually great results with them. They're relatively new, but I found that I get about a dozen or so redemptions from this site alone. So what we're going to do is we're going to head straight to the form. Types of code you're giving away, select all which apply. We're going to go ahead and do Find Away Voices or Authors Direct. Uh, which do you want to gain reviews or distribute as many codes as possible? Rob, this is your call. I can give you advice on which one of these ones would make the most sense, but I want you to select one that feels most comfortable to you. There's not much point in getting the codes out if we're not getting reviews, right? Right. Yep. So uh, in case I saw her smiling over there, she's like, yeah, we want the reviews. That means you're going to get less requests, but that means that you're going to get more serious people that are going to come in here. Are you comfortable with me assigning the code emailed to you? Yep. Okay. And just as you guys are doing this, I'm actually in find away voices, um, yes. looking at all this. And so you can't generate the codes until the street date passes. So oh. I just updated your street date <laughs> to tomorrow. So as of tomorrow, you'll have codes. Sadly, Rob didn't quite get the results we were shooting for. He netted only two takers, though he was pretty picky about who he wanted reviewing his book. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's his baby and he has the right to share or refuse who gets free access to his content. Though I've had decent results with those few options, it's not always a winner. If your timing is right and the demand is there, more people will request codes for your audiobook. Also, more people are willing to receive Audible promo codes versus Authors Direct promo codes. So rather than leaving you with those few premium options, I figured MK and I could set you up the best practices for promoting your audiobook. 
Let's go. I'm gonna start this with Facebook groups. You cannot go wrong on the Facebook platform, whether you're using the platform actively or not. Getting into some groups that specifically have readers or listeners of audiobooks that are looking for free codes so that way they can listen to your stuff and then they leave a review. Simply go over onto Facebook and just type in free audiobook promo codes and chances are very likely you're gonna find a group that you can join. There's literally dozens upon dozens of these types of groups and some of them that are niche specific, which I'd recommend for whatever niche you're in, find a group that is specific to that niche Become friends with people in that community, reach out to the admin and express to them that you have a handful of codes that some of the Facebook group members would enjoy. Do you want to focus on where you can consistently show up? right? So you're promoting all formats of your book in this way, but the audiobook shouldn't be ignored. So if you're consistently showing up in Instagram lives, then maybe play a sample of the audiobook there for your following to hear. In addition to talking about, you know, the hardcover, the paperback, things like that. If you're consistently showing up on Twitter, then do an audio clip there. If it's your newsletter, then link to a freebie code. So find a way to really show up where your audience is to promote the audiobook and make sure you're talking about it there too. It's really easy just to default to the print and the ebook versions of the book, um, but the audiobook needs just as much attention too. My next suggestion would be email subscribers. Actually, that's probably one of the first areas you should be tapping into when you have promotional codes, whether on ACX or Findaway Voices, because they already know, like, and trust you enough to part ways with their email address. Chances are very likely they're going to appreciate the fact that they get a little bit of insider perks. So reach out to your email list. And the nice thing is you might find some people that will respond and who would go on a notification crew where when you launch your next audiobook, you can automatically give them a code so that they can actually win big time. All right, so you wanna show the experience. So it's really hard to sell something that's intangible like a digital product, right? So like an ebook and an audiobook, it is a digital project. So how do you show somebody reading an ebook? How do you show somebody listening to an audiobook? So in Rob's case for a children's book, parents can get really worn out reading the same book over and over and over and over and over when it becomes their kid's favorite. So an audiobook creates a solution, right? Someone else will read this book to your kid and they do a great stash voice. So that's what you're kind of selling to the end customer, not the end reader in that case. For the parent, it's, hey, this is a break for you. You don't have to keep doing that squirrel voice. You don't have to keep reading it over and over. Somebody's gonna read it for you. So that's a big benefit. My last recommendation is going to be kind of premium because you're going to need to pay for a monthly membership. It's through a service called Story Origin. Now, Story Origin has a variety of tools in it, but one of those includes audiobook code redemptions. And the cool thing is you can set up all of your metadata into Story Origin and just set it up and let it go. I started one of my first ones and organic traffic came there. That's right, I didn't have to advertise whatsoever and I ended up getting somebody picking it up right within the first 24 hours of me actually posting it over on Story Origin. Now, if you've got Story Origin and utilizing that, I would recommend joining some newsletter swaps with other authors in your niche. Um, also advertising it within your email newsletter as well, again, on social media. So that way we really get even more eyes on this. It seems rather exhaustive, all the tips that we've given you so far, but rest assured, if you just take a fraction of these things, it will help you out tremendously in promoting your audiobook. The hardest part, which is asking for people to leave reviews. So um, you always want to remind people to leave a review and it really can feel like as authors that we have actually become dentists and we're pulling tooth extractions all day to get reviews on different platforms. People say, I love the book. Great. Can you leave a review? Oh yeah, 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 sure. I'll, I'll remember to do that. They just forget. Um, but a few rave reviews on audiobook sites can go a long way. So you want to make sure just as consistently as you're showing up, telling people about the audiobook, don't forget to follow that up with a reminder of, hey, and if you've listened to it, please leave a review. You. Um, it really helps other people discover the book. That one sentence there can actually go a long way into reminding people of why it's important to do that. Though we're coming to the end of this video series, be sure you check out MK's deep dive into audiobooks for indie authors. I'll see you over there.